Hello again and welcome to Money Mentor's channel where today we're going to look at the share price forecast for a company called Halma in the FTSE 100. It's a life-saving technology company uh, and currently sits with a market cap of 10.53 billion. I'm going to look at uh, Halma using Stockopedia. That's uh, the Stockopedia software easily compares all of a company's data in one place and if you'd also like to try um, this software tool for free, then hit the link at the top right of the screen and take a look for yourself. Okay, so Halma has currently got a stock rank uh, of 66, although it had been higher in the in the very recent past. It was a green, which means over 80 in the very, very recent past, and we'll come on to why it's now only a 66. But what we can see from these um, metrics here is we've got a good quality um, stock here although the value is poor so it's uh, it's very expensive it's overpriced um, and a momentum of 84 was good although it is deteriorating hence by this uh, red arrow here so what we can see is if we look at that year chart it's been a very strong um, it's had a very strong positive trend all the way up to the very very recent um, in fact all the way up to new year to new year's eve so New Year's Eve, it hit its peak, and then from um, the rest of this year, it's actually been uh, coming down again. So it's, it, the trend is probably broken. So we're a 15% off the 52-week high. Uh, you'll be able to see that break a lot easier if we just put uh, in certainly the last three months or the last month. So it got to a peak around there, and then it's been trending down ever since. Um, as we said before, it's uh, it's an expensive um business so its value is low so its price earnings ratio of 40.5 is uh, is particularly expensive both for the industry and for the market uh, it's a low dividend stock um, so it's only got 0.74 yield so we certainly wouldn't hold it for its yield all the recent momentums um, have come have turned negative as we can see here and if we'll just go down to the overall return on capital so this is our quality part so the return on capital equity and operating margin so profit margin 23 percent is all very good so we, we do have a good quality um, stock but it's just very very expensive at the moment and ultimately will uh, as it gets cheaper um, it will uh, improve those metrics so we've got a health trend of six um, under that score there you can see the revenue graph over there on the right um, showing a good solid increase take a look at the operating profit also um, trending upwards nicely so it's actually a very very good strong growing business um, with growing revenue and growing profits uh, we already know from what we've seen before the dividend yield is very small and nothing projected to be increased in the next few years so the 2022 and the 2023 years are 0.69 and 0.75 respectively uh, and unsurprisingly the dividend cover can easily cover those because it's only such a low yield so three times uh, three times and above there moving down now to um, the let's take a look at the debt so they've got a little bit of debt on the books 280 million we move on down now to the actual um, analysis consensus. We can see we've got mid middle of the road, 16 brokers are currently covering it and they say it's a hold. Um, so with the recent trend, I expect some of their um, suggestions might start turning negative because uh, they usually they usually turn negative after the after the stock has changed direction not before un unhelpfully um, and we can see that the analyst forecast for the next um, the future period is only a six percent increase so it's actually uh, not far off where we are now so it's probably not necessarily worth holding anymore and by the looks of it we already thought it's a little bit expensive um, when we looked at the value and the price earnings metrics so um, do let us know in the comments box below if you hold Halma or whether you're considering holding Halma at some point in the future we try to get back to you um, with uh, answers to your comments and also of course if you're not subscribers to the Money Mentor channel yet then please do subscribe so we, you can uh, be updated every time we release another video. Thank you very much for watching.